Satan. Definitely some happened. people have broken into cemeteries. When you're dealing with Satanism, you're dealing with a group of people who there worship were two evil. Kids disappeared, a boyfriend people and a girlfriend. People get involved with the occult. Right. They will evil. cut the person from day. the throat all the way down. There, there were many people who died in the morning shades of this And hands and feet were cut off. And evil on her gifts and the breast will be 666, which is the mark of the beast out of the book of Revelation. Yeah. Are all related to the mind. Come on, quick, quick, quick. quick. <laughs> I am 19 years old from Covington, Louisiana. My name is Didi. My name is Javier. I'm 22, flew up from Fort Lauderdale. My age is 19 in 15 days. I'm Jen. I'm from Austin, Texas. My name is Cece. I'm from Santa Barbara. I think I'm probably going to be going to some place that's um, probably extremely haunted. I think spirits are good. There probably are spirits, and there probably is an afterlife. Oh my God! We aren't going to have any cameramen following us. We're going to be wearing our own cameras. I am afraid of spirits. Oh! Whatever I'm going, I'm going to go through. You're going to be there to experience it. What am I afraid of at this point? Nothing. That rid me of all evil. You have to believe in evil. Oh my God! This is crazy, y'all. Okay, I can take it. I hate this so much. If I get demonically possessed, I'll be really mad. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Do you think I heard that? I thought it was. <sighs> well, shit, I got it. Look to the left of the tower. Find the two lanterns. That's over there. You see the two lanterns on the ground? All right, let's go. So what's everybody's name? My name's Javier. I'm Chris. I'm Cece. Didi. Oh, your turn. <laughs> Jen. Are you the safe house? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. That's pretty dope oh, right there. Tight, dude. Oh, please, bro. Look at these munchies, bro. We're set. <laughs> Look at this. This is cool. These people over here. What's that? Oh, these are uh, missing people. Oh, that's... Ah! They're gonna have a screw or something like that. Y'all ready to do this? Begin your stay by going to the video page. Welcome to Camp Spirit Lake. For 47 years, this site has been home to numerous missing persons and cult activity until authorities finally closed the camp in 1976. Spirit Lake is a place where bodies were dumped. There were two kids when I was going to school that came up here that disappeared, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. No one knows where they went to, and even to this day, it's a mystery. Then not too far from here was um, another woman who was, her head and hands and feet were cut off, just her torso was there. There certainly are cases going on today where people get involved with the occult and evil in terms of worshiping Satan himself. A lot of times what they'll do is, is they will cut the person from the throat all the way down to the groin and they will remove the entrails and they will use the entrails as different satanic offerings to the different demons and stuff like that that they're trying to conjure up. What the hell did I get myself into, yo? During your stay at Spirit Lake, you'll be investigating extreme cult rituals that have taken place at this notoriously haunted campsite. This computer will lead you through the investigations through a series of dares. Your investigation will take you to five locations where cult activity has been reported. Pet Cemetery, Pawnee Cabin, the Lakota Ruins, the Burial Ground, and Hopi Cabin. To complete your investigation successfully, you must abide by three key rules. Use your camera equipment to document your experiences at all times. Follow the instructions on this website exactly in your investigation. You may quit at any time, 
However, if you fail to complete a dare, you forfeit your prize money and another team member must complete your assignment. If you complete all of your dares, you win $5,000. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Pick a color patch from the bag on the table and enter it into the website. This is the color you will be designated for each assignment. Wait, dare one. Dare one. For your first dare, send blue across Spirit Lake. You must begin now. Good luck. Focus. Take the small shovel from the black box in the cabinet, which is labeled C. Exit from the front door of Calusa Cabin. And walk till you reach the gravel road. To your left, find the rowboat where you left it, by the lake between the two lanterns. You gotta get in the rowboat. Roll towards the side of the lake, directly across Off the lifeguard tower. You will see a single bright lantern on the shore. Pull the rowboat onto the shore at this clearing. Ooh, is no longer in the fair cup. Bro, I'm there. Uh, let me know what I got to do right now. Facing away from the lake at the point where you landed the boat, turn left onto the old lakeside path in front of the Pawnee Lodge. Continue straight on the old lakeside path for 25 yards. I'm to the clearing. Yeah, come on, read the directions. Let's go. I'm ready to move it. Practitioners of the occult often sacrifice lives in an attempt to offer the souls to a greater power. Afterwards, the corpses are buried in a sacred patch of earth. Sometimes a ritual is performed which requires bones to be unearthed in an attempt to bring back lost spirits. Locate the most recent grave marked by a circle of rocks. You got it? Got it. Retrieve a box that is buried in this grave. You gotta be kidding me. There's definitely so many words. Some people have broken into cemeteries and tried to steal the bones of the dead, feeling that by taking these bones, they in fact may be able to conjure up a dead spirit. I got the box out. Now you must sit next to this grave for 10 minutes in complete radio <laughs> silence. <laughs> no, hey, as soon as that 10 minutes is up, you better holler. Here I go, starting now. That's pretty, that's pretty messed up, Dana. No, 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 don't worry about it, just relax. It's nine minutes now. You're dealing with a group of people who, who like, like to worship, 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 worship evil, 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 evil. Saint, 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 saint. Okay, buddy, come on back. Oh, There's definitely so many words. Chris. Chris, talk to me. I'll, I'll talk, talk to you in about five minutes. Woo! Oh, oh, badass, bro. Badass. Woo! You all right? All right. I was sitting out there for about, seemed like forever. And finally said, time's up, time's up. I started booking down the trail. I didn't even care about talking. I just wanted to get to that boat and go. There's something out there. This dare is for red. Green will navigate. And you're up, Dee. Oh, bon dieu. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. 
Red must take the scroll from the box and follow instructions to the Psychomanthium chamber. Psychomanthium goes way back to the Greeks. This was a way of communicating with the dead. They would take a small structure, put a chair in there, and they place a mirror just above their heads, not so they can see their reflection, but they can just see the blackness of the mirror. Then at night, during the psychic hours, he'll go into the psychomanthium, and he'll sit in that chair and he'll look up into that black mirror. Then he'll start to see faces, maybe of the one that he wants to contact. The danger of that is any spirit can come in. Continue walking as the gravel road crosses a small stream. You will then see Price Lodge on your left. Price Lodge. Okay. Bear right onto the path where you see the Lakota sign. You will walk on the narrow wooden footbridge that crosses over a stream. Continue to follow the rocky path straight uphill, walking alongside a fallen tree on your left. To your right will be the burnt down remains of the Lakota house. This is crazy, y'all. You at the Lakota house? I'm mm -hmm. there. This area of the forest is known as the Devil's Dancing Ground. It is the most active supernatural location in the camp. The apparitions seen in this area are most likely the wandering souls of the victims of cult sacrifices such as Princess Doe. They told me that they found a woman and she had no head. I guess they knocked out her teeth and cut off her hands so they couldn't take any imprints or find out who she was. And they will use the entrails as different satanic offerings to the different demons and stuff like that that they're trying to conjure up. Locate and crouch into the psychomanthium chamber. Do what? I know. You're OK, baby. You can do it. Just... Have you done that? Yeah. Once you're seated inside, you must shut the door. Oh, no, y'all. No, oh, no. How you doing? How you doing? You all right? Hmm. You know what? I'm not down for doing this. Are you sure? I'm on my way back. If you leave, you're done. You can't even see straight out here. All right, are you going to do this thing? Hell no. Go ahead. Hell no. Are you? Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to let y'all down, but what? this is not happening. That's A. You're done then? I guess that's what it means. No, don't pressure her, don't. Mm-mm, I'm just making sure she's You still have the chance to go and do it. Oh, bad idea. <laughs> so come, and, come and click it. It's, it's you. It's all you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Okay, Sarah. If you choose to quit, select your color now. My devotion is too deep for me to even play with that. You know what I mean? Like, this is, it's on another level. Thank you. Okay, here we go. You're going to the Price Lodge Junction, okay? Okay. Continue walking as the gravel road crosses a small stream. Okay, and then there should be a sign for the Lakota house pointing to the right. Okay. Continue to follow the rocky path straight uphill, walking alongside a fallen tree on your left. As the hill levels off, you will approach a clearing in the woods. Okay. All right, here it is. This area of the forest is known as the Devil's Dancing Ground. It is the most active supernatural location in the camp. The apparitions seen in this area are most likely the wandering souls of the victims of cult sacrifices, such as the Princess Doe. And he'll sit in that chair and he'll look up into that black mirror. Then he'll start to see faces. The danger of that is any spirit can come in. Princess Doe was her name. She was found, just pulled out of the lake. Her head was cut off and her hands were cut off so they couldn't get fingerprints. Locate and crouch into the psychomanthium chamber. I'm already in. Okay, you must then recite the conjuring chant written on the scroll that you brought. Cece, tell me when you start reading it, please. Oh my god. Friends of the night, I call to thee, who are seldom seen. Be with me now. I call forth the images of times long past. I ask for your presence at this place made sacred. Tell me I called you Susan, I called you Brent, I called to you Ellen, I called you. Spread apart the veil of being that I may look beyond blessed. Be my eyes that I may see thy form. Able spirits arise and come forth. Thy spirits deem you worthy. Show yourselves in this chamber. I'm done. After the completion of the chant, remain Green in the Green must remain in the psychomanthium for 20 minutes in complete radio silence. 
This will allow time for the spirits to show themselves. Something's here. There's something chasing me out there. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer now. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of darkness, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and my staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest to feast before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. This was a way of communicating with the dead. Around this area, there's been a lot of bodies found. Princess Doe was her name. Until we get the hell out of there right now. Is it off? Yeah. Cece, get out. You're done. How did I get out of here? Oh. I'm trying to find my way back. You are a badass. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm serious, know. bro. I wouldn't have been able to do it. My heart was beating so fast in there. It's like, it's an octagon or something, and it's all mirrors. Like I would have been bricks. Let's go. All right. Yellow and purple must complete the next stairs simultaneously. Yellow will go to the chopping block at the Lakota cabin ruins. Purple will take the black cylinder from the shelf and proceed to the Pawnee cabin. We'll do this. We will do this. We can do this. Don't worry about it. Bye. All right, you have to go to the chopping stall. I'm about to tell you how to get there. All right, walk to the gravel road, turn right. Okay, keep walking. Good luck. Thank you. Walk only 15 yards until you reach the gravel road. I'm looking at the tree. You are now standing at the Price Lodge Junction. Bear right, following the Lakota sign. All right, I'm at Price Lodge. One now, buddy. Walk left on the road as it veers around the Price Lodge. Okay. Continue straight on the old lakeside path for several hundred yards. I picked this freaking color thinking, you know, hey, burgundy, I like burgundy. I'll be burgundy. Turns out it's purple. As the hill levels off, you will approach the Psychomantium. I see it, I'm here. Only 20 yards past the Psychomantium is a tree stump on the ground. I see it. I've reached Topi Plain. I'm passing it. Turn right and enter the Pawnee Lodge. Are you in the cabin? Yep. This is the cabin where cult members convene in dark robes, chant in strange tongues, and drink the blood of their sacrifices. A common icon in many cult religions is the pentagram. The pentagram is a graphical representation of evil. It's a gateway. Just like the Ouija board would be a gateway, well, that's what the sigil is. Look on the floor of the cabin in the center of the room to find the remains of a recently painted pentagram. Open the black cylinder you brought with you. Mm. Now what? Now use the paint and brush to retrace the pentagram. You know, this is completely against my religion. Sorry about that, bro. Yellow, listen carefully. After cult members were finished with their sacrificial rituals, they had to cover their tracks by dismembering and disposing of the victims. They did this by taking a hatchet and using an old stump as a chopping block to hack up bodies. Put on your rubber gloves, which are in the black satin bag that you've brought with you. I'm doing that right now. Hold on. Hi, sweetheart. Dio, perdóname. Perdóname, perdóname, perdóname. Pero esto me va a ayudar mucho. El dinero. What's next? Hurry, please. Open the wooden box and remove the contents that are inside. 
There's a dead chicken in the box. Hold the neck of the chicken through the hole of the cho chopping block. You will slowly and clearly read aloud over the radio the chant that you found in the box. It is written in an ancient Sumerian dialect. Merci di, merci di, kira. Zidinji, ki, kia, kanpa. Kia azag, thoth, takawa, zamboa. Use the cleaver to chop off the chicken's head. Oh my god. Something's making noise out there. Hey, it's not, it's just some little bird or something like that. Go ahead and take good care of the ones I love. Right now, I need you to take good care of me. When you're dealing with something that's satanic and somebody's participating in it actively, they give the piece of themselves to the devil. You must put the chicken head and the cleaver back in the wooden box. Oh Jesus. my God. Doing it. Oh my God. 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 I'm done. What's next? I'm going to close the cabin with the chicken head and the cleaver back in the wooden box. Why don't we secure what? Are you done painting? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done painting. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Get your booty back here as fast as you can and come see us, brother man. I don't be that nigga. I can't even come. all around me. No! Go away! Everything that's bad, go away! Something's here. Take good care of me right now, guardian angels. I'm your A number one right now. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> yeah. How was it? It gets scary. Open the door! Open the door! Oh, oh my god! There's something chasing me out there. <sighs> Stick your head up through the hole in the box. You're okay. Relax. Oh my goodness! What just happened? I'm chopping away at it. Every time the stump hit, it got louder and louder and louder. I was running. I ran all the way here. I fell down once. Fine. And uh. Fine. You're such a fat ass. Yeah. Girl. What? Woo! It's like. Thank God I'm done with that. Congratulations. You've made it through your first night. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. Your investigation yeah. continues tomorrow. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Woo. Woo. Oh, crap. What? Did uh -uh. it come up? This stair is for blue. Green will navigate. Green. Bye, dear. I'll be behind you. I'm right with you. Yeah, that's right. Exit Calusa Cabin and walk to the gravel road. Continue walking as the gravel road crosses a small stream. You will come to signs on a street for Hopi Cabin, Pawnee Lodge, and the Lakota House. Facing these, you are now standing at the Price Lodge Junction. Walk to the left of the, on the road as it veers around the Price Lodge. Continue straight until you see a narrow path on your right. As you walk up the hill, you will approach the Hopi Cabin. Walk up the steps of the porch and enter the front door. I'm inside the cabin. 
good boy. Okay. Cults, including the Process Church, the Church of Satan, and the Temple of Set, use mental endurance tests to initiate their new members. In this room is a large, large box. Stand beneath the box and stick your head up through the hole in the bottom while your eyes are open for five minutes. The navigator will inform you when your time is up. Let me know when you're ready. This is so demented. It really is. It really is very demented. I mean... I'm ready. You have to be completely silent. Fell down those stairs and fucking the whole camera cracked off. Look at all those scratches and stuff. That's it's gnarly. Good, good. Okay, so tell us. Dude, like I said, somebody shut the door. Boom! You opened the door? Like yeah, it was open when I walked in. And it was shut when I came out. Hell no. That you didn't see anybody in there? No, there was nobody in there. That's the freaky part. That's the freaky yet. Yeah. Day completed. Oh, well, it is hot Yellow. here. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And blue. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So that's me, huh? Yellow will gather the red pouch and envelope and proceed to Pawnee Cabin. Blue will navigate. When you arrive at Pawnee Cabin, you will open the envelope you've been given. Bye. Good luck. Good time. All right. For satanic and pagan religions. Blood is a source of great power. A drop of fresh human blood is said to be necessary in rituals that call forth the spirits of the deceased. Blood is life. No blood, no life. The blood of a woman is actually more powerful than the blood of a man because the blood of a woman actually represents life. When blood is placed at the center of a pentagram, it opens a passageway to communicate with the dead. Okay, guys, I'm here. I've now entered the Pawnee Lodge. There's some boarded up windows. There's lots of candles that seem to have been burned recently. I'm going to finish my dare now. Navigator, you will maintain radio silence from this point on. Yellow is now being instructed to prick her finger and place her blood in the center of the pentagram. You got to prick herself? Yeah. That's bull. No, wait a second. There, there are things that you do, but now you're pricking her. This is not right. The pentagram is a graphical representation of evil. Pain. That's what they like. The more pain that they provoke in a person, the more energy that they get to make themselves powerful.
you didn't do anything wrong. Did, all right? You didn't do nothing wrong. You're fine. Are you gonna stick? I'm not gonna quit. You think you can quit after this happens? That's what I'm talking about, girl. You're all good. I, I, I had to prick my finger. Look. I was like. You're fine. You wanna come check this out? Blue must suit up for this dare. Is it you? Yeah. Purple will navigate. Purple, you're purple. You gotta navigate. Yeah, I'm ready. Good luck. 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 Bye, have fun. Be strong. Go to the Price Lodge Junction. All right, go ahead. Continue straight only 20 yards past the Pawnee Lodge. To your right, in this clearing, is an abandoned gravesite. I mean, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing sweet. Could be better. Where do I go? Walk up to the right and look down into the gravesite. Local authorities tell of this hole being a site of many cult atrocities. More gruesome reports say that sacrificial female victims will be thrown into the hole where cult priests would brutally rape and kill them. The grave is also where cheap pine boxes became coffins for victims who would literally be buried alive. Take off your vest and remove the radio from the vest. With the radio, lie down in the box and close the lid. Oh my god! That's the I'm this box. This is crazy, but yes, that's the one. We're half more. in radio silence and await further instructions. If you attempt to get out of the box before you are instructed, you will be immediately disqualified. Radio silence begins now. No one may attempt to use a radio for the remainder of this dare. All right, start right now, don't talk to me. Green, take the large shovel, Green. the envelope in the box on the table, and the printed directions. You will follow the printed directions to the burial grounds. You must leave your radio at Calusa Cabin. Take hold of the printed directions to the hollow, the envelope and the instructions to your dare, and a large shovel. Oh, God. Do not open this envelope until you are standing at the hollow site. You must remain completely silent. If you communicate with your teammate in any way, you will be immediately disqualified. This is not a good thing. Oh, my God! Oh. Help me, help me. Good luck. We love you. Our Father, thou art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh, there is no evil, there is no evil, there is no evil, there is no evil. Maintain radio silence. This message is to inform you that Green has been instructed to cover the coffin with dirt while Blue remains inside. Oh my God! That is so... I is can't it? believe that we have to leave him out there!
Relax, we're not leaving him out there. Oh, thank God, thank God. Get on the radio right now. Chris, get your ass out here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Come here, come on. Hurry up. That took forever. Come on, on Chris. Hey, you still there? Come on, are you okay? You're right, right, buddy? Come on, baby, you doing good? I, I, I had to, I had to bury him. They made me shovel dirt into a coffin. We it read it. It popped up the instructions that I gave you. You okay, buddy? I don't know what the hell's back is for. Right? I don't know what the plastic bag is for. Oh my Dad god, my, my wrist hurts so bad. Continue, continue. Look how I care. Remaining team members, your final dare is a group dare. In this ceremony, you will attempt to release the souls of cult victims and those who've been tortured at Camp Spirit Lake. Take the bone box and chicken box, the scrolls, the matches, and the envelopes with you. Go to the Pawnee Lodge. Two. All right, let's get ready, you guys. Come on. There were two kids that disappeared. 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 Even to this day, it's a mystery. The purpose of this ceremony is to call forth the spirits of the woods, releasing the souls of the cult victims. Princess Doe, which is Doe, which is Doe. The last 48 hours have prepared you for this vital ritual. You've experienced the pain of the victims who endured the atrocities associated with this camp. Worship. Worship. Evil. 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 Psychics believe that the closer the medium can be to the experience of the spirit, the better a portal they can create to help them cross the other side. The danger of that is any spirit can come in. There's always a chance that evil spirits may show themselves. Be careful. Proceed with caution. This. Place the chicken head in a bowl in the center of the pentagram on top of the blood sample. Yes. Okay, place the contents of the bone box next to the bowl. Bones. Almost. We gather here within the sacred circle. Spirits of the earth, I conjure thee, I call to thee from above. Abode in darkness, cease to lie, and waking beneath the lake. Spirits of the earth, I evoke thee from thy resting place. Rise up and enter thy gate of splendor. Earth from ashes, fire from blood, purity from water, eternity from flesh. Blessed be those whom we cannot see. May they be protected in their journey. Spirits use me as a portal if they wish to speak. Must ask. Just say, ask the question. Spirits with us now. What's that? Spirits, do you wish to cross over? Evil. Evil. Do the spirits wish to speak in harm? Worship. Worship. Evil. Pain, 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 pain. This is what we can do, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go. Well, I'm not even. I'm gonna walk a little faster. So don't worry about it. I got you. No, I'll get it. Ooh. That's freaky. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think we should hit dare complete. Turn the lights off. Congratulations, final dare completed. Thank you, God. Thank you. Congratulations, final dare completed. You have each earned your $5,000 bounty for investigating this campground. Your bounty awaits you at the burial grounds. Go now and claim it. You must bring the red box from Calusa Cabin. Is this 
Now that you are cleansed, use the shovel to unearth your reward. You may then return to Calusa Cabin. Give me the mother. Yeah, baby. Today was really out of hand. Today was the day of sacrifices. I'm sure there was a cult worshiping down here. I don't know that there are spirits. I didn't feel any spirits. I think I just felt memories. There's something in the woods. I don't know what. You really find out a lot about yourself when you're cruising around in the woods alone. Well, it feels so good to be finally done. I think there's something going on here. I really don't know what it is. I've never been so scared in my entire life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. How does everybody feel? Good. good. Yeah. Damn good. good. Guys, it's been fun. Open the door! Open the door! Come on! I hate this so much! On the next pier. There are some nasty spirits when you get upstairs. We found the furniture stacked to the ceiling in 354. This was the position that Lorna was told to take before he basked in her skull. Please, I'm hearing noises. This is not a funny. spirit can attack a person if you don't know it's coming. I don't know how to get out. I don't know where I am. Hold on, I'm scared. Blast the holy water so that it encircles where you stand. Oh God! Oh God! Whatever you do, don't get hurt, okay? No! Chris, talk to me. <laughs> Are you going to do this thing? Hell no. Bodies found, found, found. Princess Doe, Doe was her name. Name. Oh my god! There's something chasing me out there! Continue straight until you see a narrow path. Let me know when you're ready. 